One of these 10 VPNs gives you the fastest internet and the best streaming. Which one is it? Let's find out. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. It all started when I was in the market for a VPN service. I asked on Twitter for some suggestions and Casey Neistat replied with this tweet. Now we know that Casey is super picky with who he works with and NordVPN is one of his channel sponsors. Longest, best sponsors I've ever had on this channel, uh, NordVPN. I figured, okay, Casey and I have the same requirements. We both do lots of traveling, stay in loads of hotels around the world, work from wherever we have connectivity. Our channels have the same numbers of subscribers. Okay, almost the same numbers of subscribers. So I was about to purchase one when I decided, you know what, it's a good opportunity to test a couple of these. Now, it's important to know that this video is not, I repeat, not sponsored by anyone. I do have some affiliate accounts, but I used my money. Now to get into this top 10 VPN test, each VPN had to have no log policy, military grade encryption and a kill switch, all had to pass various IP leak tests. Each VPN had to work on a Windows, Mac, Android and iOS and Linux and a router as a bare minimum. Many work on other devices as well. The VPN software was used as is with its default settings. I didn't optimize things like protocols or ports. However, it was installed, that's how I used it. Most of us work in the real world where not everything is super perfect. This test was not done under laboratory conditions. In other words, your results may vary based on your location, your ISP, your equipment, etc. And the information is based on what these providers had at the time of doing these tests. So what am I actually testing? Well, I am going to be focusing on three of the most important factors for me, which I'm sure are going to be the same for you. So software has to be super simple for anyone to use without a tech degree. Speed, well, how much impact is the VPN going to have on the internet speed? And then streaming, well, I want a VPN that allows me to stream from my own country and stream services in other countries as well. Now, after these tests are done, there are a few things you need to know that involves payments. So before you rush out, make sure you stick around for that little bit at the end. Okay, let's get started. So the software. I will say that all VPNs have really simple software that anyone can figure out. One click and you're connected and then immediately you are secure. Advanced features in these tools are also available in case anybody does want to mess around with those. I will call out these three notable VPNs. One is ExpressVPN. Nice and clean, simple to use. They do explain the various protocols if you wanna take advantage out of the auto mode and go into manual mode. They do give you a lot of information about that. The second one is NordVPN. Design is very visual, showing a world map, where the servers are located. Also, they have speciality services like Tor and P2P and custom DNS options as well. And then finally, Speedify has the most options to play with, but it also comes with a feature that none of the other VPNs have, and that is bonding. This is when you take your phone's internet connection and your Wi-Fi, and you can kind of splice them together, making for one insane big fat internet pipe. And I do have an entire video about Speedify VPN. I will link to that in the description below. Now, whichever VPN provider you choose, the software is not gonna be an issue. You simply push a button and you are secured. Right, let's talk about streaming. So a big problem that VPNs have is that streaming providers such as Netflix and BBC and others, they tend to not like VPN providers so much, so they block them. And yet on every single VPN provider's website, they say that streaming is allowed through their system. So I wanted to test this with Netflix. Over the testing period, every VPN provider worked. However, two providers were not so consistent. All right, so here's how it's supposed to work. I'm currently connected using CyberGhost VPN. I'm connected to the state and netflix.com loads. I then change my location to the United Kingdom and then go to netflix.com and reload it. And it will automatically redirect me to netflix.com forward slash GB. Scroll down to the bottom and indeed it does confirm it. I'm in the United Kingdom. So that is how it's supposed to work. The same thing worked with IP Vanish. The same thing worked with Surfsharks and all the other VPN 
except for two. So let's look at those two. So Speedify was a bit weird. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. So right now I'm connected to the US, Netflix.com. You can clearly see something went wrong. There is a problem. Change my connection to Britain, to the UK, and then Netflix.com GB works perfectly fine. Now let's change it back to the fastest into the US and technically that should work. Try to load up um, Netflix.com again. And again, I'm getting that error message. The other one that wasn't super consistent was PIA. So here I'm connected to US Texas and I'm gonna try to load Netflix.com and then I get this error message. So the site cannot be reached. Yes, I'm still definitely connected to the internet. I'm gonna fire up the techieguy.com and that loads up perfectly fine. Let's try changing it from the US to UK and see if that actually works. Let's select UK from those servers, UK Manchester, Netflix.com, does that work? It technically, yep, there we go. So it actually rerouted me to the right location. So ExpressVPN worked, NordVPN worked, Pure VPN worked, Hotspot Shield worked, everything else seemed to work every single time consistently. Just PIA and Speedify were erratic. Sometimes they worked, sometimes they didn't. Right, let's talk about speed. So to test the speed, I connected to the VPN and let it choose the best or the fastest servers that it had for me. I then ran a speed test. Now look, I live in Dallas, so all the VPNs did choose US servers. However, some of them chose Dallas, which is the closest VPN to me, but some chose some random locations in the US. I assume that's where their servers are located or hosted, and obviously that's gonna have some impact on speed. I then connected to Australia, South Africa, and the UK, as I wanted to see what the speeds will be like in those countries. Each time I connected, I then loaded a fresh speed test to, and again, I let it choose the server for me. It is important to check how many servers a VPN provider has in your country. If there are none, well, that's gonna be a big problem for you. Rather choose another provider. Now, I will say running these tests over and over and over again, what was interesting to see is that they were within a couple of megabits per second of a previous test. In other words, the same VPN provider had virtually the same speed every time. So that's a big thumbs up. However, the speed does vary when you compare one VPN provider to another. So here are the results. I also have a link in the description if you want all these tests nicely summarized comparison between everyone in a simple Google Sheet. Let's start off with a baseline with no VPN. I'm getting a ping of nine milliseconds, a download speed of 476.93, and an upload speed of 23.37. Now I do have a cap on the upload speed of about 25, and you can see that it's automatically connected me to Frontier in Dallas, Texas. That is indeed my closest server. So now that we have that, let's start off with Express VPN. Let's see what I'm gonna get here. So a ping of 10 milliseconds, a download of 217, and then an upload speed of 21.59. Now it connected me to Richardson, Texas, which is kind of close to where I am. As far as international is concerned, uh, not too bad. Australia, South Africa, the UK getting over 100 megabits per second as a download and very close to the 20 megabits per second as the upload. So overall, not too bad. Right next up, we have NordVPN, and already I am super impressed. Look at that download speed, 400 megabits per second, pitting of 10 milliseconds. Let's see what the download speed is going to be. 21, I mean, this is brilliant. As far as international is concerned, everything is over 300. And in fact, for South Africa and the UK, it's actually closer to 400 as a download speed. The upload speed is cool all over the place. So NordVPN scores really, really well in this case. Okay, two down and eight to go, but don't worry, we're not gonna go through this each and every single one of VPN, otherwise we'll be here for quite a while. There is a link in the description, go and grab that where I summarize all of these together so that you can get an idea of what the USA speed, the Australia, South Africa, the UK, and compare it to my baseline. This way you get an idea of how much impact a VPN actually has on the internet's speed. Before you head out, I will say that customer service was fantastic. Only Speedify had an email support while everybody else had a 24 by seven live chat. Some started out as a chatbot and then you kind of passed you over to a human. 
I tested these at all hours of the day and the night and every time I could get a real person. All of these providers offer at least a 30 day money back guarantee. Hotspot Shield, Cyber Ghost and Surfshark offer a 45 day money back guarantee. Now remember these refunds will take 5 to 10 working days to reflect in your bank account. Also a refund policy only applies in the initial period when you first start using the VPN system. If you signed up for a year and you want to cancel let's just say after 6 months, you're not going to get anything back. Your account won't be charged again for the following year but don't expect a partial refund. So it looks like they very much do stand by the product and I would suggest that you use this as a guide. Again, there's a link in the description below for some bonus comparisons and a whole bunch of extra stuff. Go and grab it. And if you want more security tips and tricks, check this out over here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.